Good evening, everyone. It is Susan here from A Piece of You. It is Sunday, Facebook Live time, and we are so excited about all the fun stuff we have today. Um, hi, Sharon. Good to see you. Make sure you tell me hi. Let me know you're on. I see numbers, but I don't know who's on. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Susie's on. Hi. I'm going to talk a little quieter, but I heard from tech support that you guys can hear me okay. Um, I don't think I'll cough as much if I don't shout. So, hi, Sheila. Hi, Sherry. My cold is getting better. It's in that icky spot. Hi, Jody. Hi, Deb. Good to see you guys. Hi, Laura. I hope you guys all watch the sneak peek. Hi, Jennifer. I do want to remind everyone to put your comments one item on a comment line if you can. Um, because that way it will just um, help us to know who got it. And uh, hi, Shirley. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Linda. Um, we are... I did go and check on the bags and because we sold a bunch of them here in the store. So um, I did find out that the bags I have actually put in um, a preliminary order. I haven't hit go yet. So depending on what you guys are interested in, I will order. Hi, Susan. Hi, Nola. Hi, Jean. Look at all those people on tonight. You can tell it's freezing cold in Bay City, but that's because it's almost Memorial Day weekend. And if you've lived in Bay City long enough, you know that that means it's probably going to get cold um, and that it'll be beautiful. But don't worry, anyone, because I leave for Ireland on the 9th of June, so the weather's probably going to clear right up by then. So, hi, Susan. Hi, Jean. All right. Um, I think tech support's ready. Marilyn's here with me. And we are good so let's get started. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Michelle. Let me start over here. Turn it around. All right. We are going to start in the order that we were in on yesterday. And I do have some of the Knitted Wit Sock yarn left. It is Blue Orchid B. And I think this is really pretty. This is our May color, and I thought it looked like peonies. Oh, Marilyn's ready for me. And uh, <laughs> hi, Angie. So I think this is really pretty. It looks like spring flowers. I think this is going to be beautiful. Um, oh, Marilyn is so good over there. I can see her out of the corner of my eye. There's 420 yards in each one of these skeins. They are 80-20 Superwash Merino 20% nylon. Hi, Deb. Hi, Mary. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you guys. Um, hey, can you guys see the thumbs up that uh, tech support just gave you? If you can see them, like I just, she just put one on Mary Hills. Can you guys see that? Um, give me a thumbs up. Uh, Give me a thumbs up or a heart or something like that so we know if you can see those. Um, well, Jody can. Jody, would you like one of these knitted wits? They're very pretty. You often. Oh, good. We can see the thumbs up this time. Yay, tech support's excited. Hi, Sheila. Jennifer can see them. So we have three of those. Those are $33. And we love knitted wit. Um we have picked our own colors for the month for from them and we find that that's really kind of fun okay now our next item i also want somebody to see if they can put like a heart or emoji in their comment line when they are doing something um, we want to see if that'll help us um, see all of your comments okay we're doing something a little bit different. We have, for the twin socks, we didn't pull them all off the shelf. And so Marilyn's gonna be around behind where the yarn is and pulling them. What we have are the Jawwill twin socks. Hey, thanks, Sheila. I love that little smiley face. 515. Oh, we moved it. It used to be right back there where she was pulling. Okay. <laughs> 
And what these are is these are Jawel twin socks, and they are made so that it makes a full sock, one each, 515. And so you're going to get two of these so you can get a pair. Right now we are not selling them individually because it'll be hard to figure out what to do with them. They are $19 for two skeins. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Kathy. Lots of people coming on tonight. I have color 512, 514. 512 is this one. Isn't that pretty? They're all going to have kind of the same kind of design. Um, 513 is this one. We, and I think that's one really pretty, 512. Um, and this one is, oh, somebody moved my marker. Let's see, 514, Shades of Blues. Shades of Blues. And 515 is the pinks. Sounds good. Can you put Linda, will call us? Mm -hmm. Thanks. So we don't call you and wake you up at 3 in the morning? That would be awful. Um... So, but these are really good. If you start from the outside of one, start from the outside of the other, and then they will match. Otherwise, they'll be mirror images of each other. They'll go the opposite direction, okay? So that's all you have to do when you knit those up. But I think it's really kind of fun. All right. Our new product of the day is, tech support helped us with these, double point needle watches. And she... Marcy has been working her little fingers to the bone with these. And what they are is they go on the ends of your double points. See, Marilyn is demonstrating for us. So that way you never lose a stitch again. And those are $12. And perfect if you make socks. They're perfect if you make hats because you often have to use a double point. Two of them. And um, they're going to last you forever. Well, most forever. But um, we picked them out, and they're Michigan State green, and they are a piece of you blue. So, a watch. And um, they're $12. And there was a product out there about eight years ago. And they no longer make them, and we have been looking for and looking for and looking for our, a replacement. And everything we found did not work. And so um, we decided that we were going to come up and make our own. So these are handmade in Bay City, Michigan. They are a Michigan product. And I think they're just great. So $12 for those. And remember, guys, if you buy your Christmas gifts, your stocking stuffers, all that kind of stuff, as we go along throughout the year, you won't feel it nearly as bad. You know, these would make great stocking stuffers, perfect for your knitting group, um, that type of thing. Oh, there we go. Marilyn's giving me sign language now. It's perfect. <laughs> we'll, we'll get this down. We'll get it down. So we love these little double point needle watches. And um, so they are fun. I've been using them on my needles. And I am so glad to have them back. Okay. Don't worry. We will come back to the beginning when we get done. And... We'll get through everything else first. All right. Now, I think we are doing the Simple Stripe Baby Blanket. Oh, another watchy, please, for Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Good to see you. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Mary Ellen. Good to see you guys. Uh, blanket is six. Oh, and I'm going over here showing her that. And an eight. And see, we have this cheater sheet so that we didn't have to take every, a number one, five, one, 16, oh, Marilyn's quick, 10, it just means we have a little more work tonight when we have to go pull everything off the floor. Um, 
This is a simple, it's a beginner project. 17? Yes. And um, this is six. Six is on the floor. They're in numerical order, Marilyn. There you go. Perfect. We have a whole system down. We only have, we have several of number one, but then we don't have more than one. We have two sets of most of the other colors. Okay, if you didn't want the sneak, watch the sneak peek, let me tell you what it's all about. We have this great little baby blanket, or for me, because I'm not horribly tall, it's going to be a throw if I make one. Um, $39, and you have enough to make a little baby hat out of it. Um, the pattern comes with it and um super easy use a us7 she doesn't have that on her pattern but you need a us7 or whatever you like your gauge for this is color one okay when you're looking at these bags the main color so where the navy is is the farthest color back and then these are the two accent colors this is color two so this is the main color and then shades of yellow number three shades of it's blue, it's light blue and white. Color four is a uh, darker lavender with white and lavender. Six is a coral with green and white. Uh, that's five. Sorry, that one's five. I'll learn to read. Uh, seven is this one, and it's a real light gray. Did Lynn Meadum get a thumbs up? Lynn, you got a thumbs up for number six. If you wanted a, another one, we haven't seen that one yet. This one is seven, so a light gray with these two stripes. Did you get it? Yeah, she has all those different shades. Oh, yeah, we gave you a six. We hope that's okay. If you wanted, if you want more of them, let us know. Number eight is a pale pink with different pink colors. Nine is shades of tan and brown. Good neutral, especially for somebody's like rec room or something like that. Um, okay, good. She's good. Ten is shades of blue. It's mostly turquoise. And then we have these two colors. Eleven is a nice denim with these two colors. Twelve is a lavender with a dark purple and a white stripe. And 13, these are good to have in your already made knit up so that, you know, I think when I get invited to a baby shower, they always give me like a week and a half and then they expect me to have a number eight. They expect me to have something uh, knit up in a week and a half. They get a hat, you know, that's about as much as I can do in a week and a half. Uh, Stark. Um, hi, Bonnie. Good to see you. 13 is mostly white with these two colors. Uh, 14 is mostly yellow with a black and white stripe. Very pretty. Hi, Mary. 15 is red with a black and white. So if you're a Red Wings fan, that one's good for you. 16 is shades of denim and gray. That's 16. 17, if you're a Detroit Tigers fan, I know they're not doing that great right now, but, you know, we're diehard fans. Otex support saying they're not so bad. This one is 17. It's mostly navy with orange and white. 18 is a real pretty royal blue with red and white. 19, we got all the pastels going, but it's primarily pink. 20 is primarily this pretty gray and this is almost a gender neutral one because it's got white and then the light um, yellow with it and remember there's gonna be a gray in between these two colors and then the yellow will really show up and then 21 is this kind of hot pink with a light pink and a white stripe
Okay, those are $39, and you had plenty of yarn left to make the little hat, so we do have the simple baby hat pattern for that. And that one takes a US 5 circular and double point for that hat. Or you can use a long magic loop. Okay. Um, we, 19. You may have heard that Stitch Together is no longer um, selling to stores anymore. And we will be continuing to get her color of the month um, through this year. And, um, so we have, I need a 17. Here you go. So I do have maize. Oh, and I got them in the bucket all by myself. So do you have two stitch togethers left? One, two, three, four... Five. They're all gone. Oh, Charlotte Lockhart got one too. I missed her. Oh, my aim is completely aim is off. Awful. Okay, <laughs> so we are good on those. Um, let's see. We will continue to get those as long as she's going to provide those. Well, uh, send them to us. Um, we have a hard time getting them on time. So May actually came in May, so that was cool. Uh, do we have a stitch together color of the month for April? What was April? I know I have a March. I don't believe I have an April. No, I don't think I... No, I don't have an April. I do have March. I do have the shrinking shamrock. Uh, water's A. And just remind us, Sandy, when we call you um, to make sure we get that... Kathy, I don't have April's stitched together. I do have March's, um, and that is all I have. Another A. All right. This is Across the Waters, and it uses a 5 and a 3, and some different link sizes also. A B. B. This is B, and if you want to give it a letter... That was our last B. Yeah. A C. You have a C over there, Marilyn. I have a D. And I have an E. I need an E. How many C's do we have we sold? Okay. I didn't know if I missed somebody. But I think this is just really kind of cute. It's something different to do. Um, it looks fun. And so it kind of, you can see how it is brought up. Um, you could wear it this way, so it's across the front. I like how she's wearing it in the on the main pattern. I think that just dresses up in a little outfit. And I know in the summertime I wind up wearing like a white t-shirt and something. And so this would just jazz it up and I can't do this with one hand okay perfect um hi Mari good to see you hi Cheryl good to see you this, this afternoon evening um so these kits are $38 they use both a DK and a fingering and that is why you need two different needle sizes so thanks Jennifer for letting us know we need the pattern and tech support likes that too because then she could put it on her spreadsheet. Um, so I have color A left. Um, oh, you did it at a retreat. Great, Laura. What type of fiber is it? Um, the main col the main color. This one is a, a wool blend. It's a sock yarn, and then the contrast is L R A denim DK, which is 100% cotton but it's super soft and squishy and really nice to work with. I am making a sweater out of denim DK. Um, and so that's why we put those two together because one, we like the way the colors worked and two, we just thought it would be fun. And those are $38. Hi, Pat, good to see you. All right, we have blossoms. 
and Blossoms actually came when Blossoms was supposed to come, and we pulled out the correct one. So um, this time they are showing us the Sedona Cowl. Hi, Barb. We haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. A Blossom. Oh, Marilyn's good, because I just threw that over the back of my head, and I didn't even know where she was standing. Uh, Leslie, do you need a pattern? Blossom. Hi, Diane. Good to see you tonight. Um, this month's is Sport Weight. I'm having fun throwing stuff. It's been a rough week with a cold. Um, this one has a cute little stitch marker on it. And I think it's kind of fun. And whew, Marilyn is just, oh, we sold another one. How many, do we have any left? No, tech support okay, tech support's a little behind me. I have a feeling that I am off by one, so that's why I'm not throwing anything. Um, so you can see they're either wound from here and go dark, or from there and go dark. Um, I should have one left? Okay. All right. I just arbitrarily did that. This one is off of this kind of moth, is what was the inspiration. Oh, it is kind of those colors. Isn't it fun? And don't even ask me to figure out how to say that. Tetropha Sphinx moth. Yeah. I don't even know where they find these. So, um, and let us know if you need the pattern. This is this month's pattern, and it's the Sedona Cowl, and I think it's kind of pretty. So we have, supposedly, according to tech support, we have one of these left. So, yes, Kim, you are. You just put in the comments, Blossom, and your phone number, and then we what we do, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about that part. Um, what we do is it's kind of like an Amazon warehouse tonight, and then we put all the orders together, and then um, Joyce will call you tomorrow and get your credit card information, and then we will ship it to you, or you can come pick it up. Either one, we ship to the continental U.S. Um, we can ship to Alaska. Um, just let us know before we do that so that we can make sure that we uh, get the right shipping for you. Um, and yeah, don't worry, Cheryl. Um, Deb, I understood your thought process. Um, unfortunately at this time we do not ship to Canada or Hawaii or Europe. Um, just because of shipping is so odd. All right, so I have one of these left. Now when we do call you tomorrow for your order and your credit card information, feel free to ask us if we have something left. Um, and we'll go back through again at the very end of this. Um, okay, we have Explore the Rainbow. And what these are is Knitted Wit puts, curates two of their sock yarns and they put them together. And they put a pattern with it. And it is just super fun. And um, this time, this is basically how it works up. Um and they can see it um and but you get the dream boat socks pattern with it if you lose ours or you forget to ask us inside the label is a qr code and if you scan that it'll take you right to revelry and tell you what your code number is so that you can get the pattern for free you do not have to make socks you can make something else um these are 68 dollars and um, I think they're super fun. There's 420 yards in each skein. And they are um, super wash, merino, and 20% nylon. So I think this one is really fun. Look at all these colors in here. So it's not quite as black and white as what the picture shows. And it just has all kinds of fun stuff in there. But those are really fun. Um... So, and if there is a pattern that we have shown previously that you would like to make with these kits, we can always pull one of those up. Okay. All right. Now, what Deb was waiting for, 
was the minimalistic tea i finished mine and i am so excited and i hope you all buy these kits so i can take my sweater home and wear it the next week although it's going to be cold so i'll probably have a turtleneck on underneath it but um so the minimalistic tea is a pay for pattern it's like 750 something like that and it's top down this was super easy um, I took this on my vacation. It is a cotton fingering weight, so it's very lightweight. Um, and the neck is done as you go along, so you don't have to pick up any stitches later, which I personally prefer. Um, and as you can see, the stripes just kind of do their own thing. I know, isn't it cute, Virginia? These kits are $80 for two skeins. It should be almost $100 for the kit. Um, but we're giving you a deal. I have color 201. You're going to get two of these skeins. There's 678 yards in a skein. Um, <clears throat> and it is 100% cotton. I don't even like 100% cotton. I really liked working with this. Okay. And as you know, I had it in and out of my bag a million times, and I haven't blocked it yet, and it looks great. 201. Good choice, Deb. That would have been my choice had I not made the one that I did. The color I have here is not available on the, the one on the mannequin, and I did check with the manufacturer, and they don't have any of that color either. So I have kit 201 now of course you could make something else you could make the anchors tee there's a fingering weight one for that you could make the breezeway top if you have the pattern for that you can make that um that would be really cute too this is 202 and it's got this little bit of peach it's got some turquoisey kind of color a little bit of this green color so you can see a difference in those colors that one is 202. Heather, this is 100% cotton. This one is 203. This one, I do have enough to have an extra skein if you want to make a big size. I made the large, which fits up to, uh, let's see, 46 and 3 quarters. Okay, I wanted it kind of loose. 46 and 3 quarters, um, which is supposed to fit an actual bust of 40, okay? So um, the 4XL would be a 56-inch bust, and, oh, I guess I could show you guys this, and it goes up to a 62 and 3 quarters, so there is about 5 inches of, 6 inches of ease. For the large, minus 21 and if, 21 inches long from the back of the neck down to the ribbing. Okay, um, I did the math today when I got in here to work. I had 125 grams left for my second ball, and so I have about 400 yards left for a, far, a size large. So you can make an extra large and have completely enough yarn. You can make your sleeves a little bit longer. That's not a problem either. I like shorter sleeves because my arms aren't horribly long. Um... I have kit 204 is this really pretty yellow with the khaki and this kind of maroony color. Um, 205 is a really pretty one if you like red. Red is its main color. Red and white, and then it's got some peach and green. <coughs> I'm almost making it through, but not quite. 206 is pinks and a little bit of olive thrown in. I think that one's pretty too. Um, pink and red. So those are $80. You're going to use a US 3 for the ribbing. You are going to use a 4 for the rest of it. And it took me about a week to do that one. And I was traveling. So um, I think you should be good. Um, it was very fun. It's very wearable. And um, yeah, I just actually was watching the Today Show the other day. And Stephanie Gosk had a sweater that looked almost just like that and I went ah, I have a sweater just like that um so it is very very cute 202 and a 203 
Hi, Sue. Good to see you. And so I have this one we can put back. Now, um, yeah. So I have a 201. I have a 204. I have 205. And I have 206. And I think those are really, really pretty. $80. You'll have plenty. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to make some baby hats out of what's left with mine. Um, not enough to make um, a sweater or anything. But I could have made my sleeves longer. I could have made my body longer. And that would have been fine. Um, 21 inches is about right for me. If you've met me, I'm not horribly tall. So uh, that works out really well for me. All right. We're on to our next one, which is the Party of Fives. And these are on sale today for $44. And we are showing the knitting for, what are all the colors in 201? Let me show you. Colors in 201 is the light blue. There is this fresh green, and then there's kind of an olive green. Uh, Linda would like an H. Um, and I think that one's really pretty, Linda. That would have been my choice had I not picked the one I did. A D. Kit I. C. So everybody must have watched my... We have little can cozies underneath these so that the glare isn't quite so bad. Um... I have A, I have B, Virginia would like 201, it is left, you are good, Virginia. Um, I have kit A, I have kit B, I have kit C, which is the pinks, yes I do, uh, D, E, I'm trying to stand a little bit away from them so I'm not getting quite as much of the glare. G is shades of gray. Yes, we will. Don't worry. I think I already have it in your bucket. Um, the minis are 44. 44. They're normally like $50 and they're on sale for 44 tonight. H, this one is one of the new colors. I think it's really, really pretty. I is a new color this year, I believe. Um, this one is I that I'm holding up. Tofino Road Trip is J. This one is one I really love. I've used that one before. And then I have one of Swell, which is shades of blue. I think that one's really pretty too. Those are 44. And we do a little bit of calmness just so that we can make sure everybody gets their numbers in. Uh, they are, they're fingering weight, and they are 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. It is soft, though. J. I'll let you get it. You're better than I am. Do we have any J's? Okay. Oh, now we don't. Both J's are gone. Hi, Helen. Good to see you. Hi, Nora. Oh, here. There we go. So I have A, which is shades of blues and greens. I have B. I have one C left. I have D. I have E. I have G. I have H, I have I, and I have one little lonely K over here. Okay. All right. We're going to go to the bags now, and then we're going to go through everything one more time in case people came through them late. All right. 
and of course I didn't write down how much these are. So we have, what we did was we put them by style and by color. Big Sur, take the one behind. Orange Lunchbox, take the one behind. Everyday Tote Echo Gray. Okay. Yep, we have one on the floor. Now I did find out, don't take this one off yet. Um, so Mary, I know you want this one, but I'm not taking it off the floor just yet. Um, if no one else orders it, I will give you this one. Um, I did check and I can get all of these, um, shipped to us tomorrow. So I have the lunch tote in echo charcoal and I also have the everyday tote, which is very cool. Okay, we're going to show you the inside. Marilyn's going to help me. It's got a pocket there. It's got a little thing to put a pouch or a key. It has a couple of little pouches there. It's all lined really nicely. It's got a nice gusset lunch tangerine. Again, Betty, we aren't going to take that one off the floor until we're done with the display, or actually this video, and then uh, we will um, take it off the floor. <laughs> Um, so if you get a thumbs up, which text, which one, that is the everyday tote. Yes. Um, that one was for Mary Hill and also for Jennifer Francis. Yep. And then we will be putting, um, we will go in order if you are not one of the first, you don't get one of the ones that's on the floor, then we will um, ship yours as soon as we get it in, okay? Um, I have the lunch tote, I have the everyday tote, I have the large pouch, and those all come in the echo charcoal, okay? I don't have any other colors in the large pouch. I do have the lunch tote in Echo Tangerine, which is really cute. And these lunch totes do not have pockets in them, but they do have enough room for a great knitting project. You could put your lunch in the bottom. Oh, there is a pocket inside. Um, and they're just a great size. Um, they don't, these guys don't need to be lined because they're made with a wonderful duck kind of material. And um, those are 35. Um, the everyday totes are 69. The large pouches are 24. Um, I do have the market tote also. And Marilyn's going to get that one down and show you that one. Okay, it does have a gusset. And it doesn't have any pockets, but it does have something you could put a pouch on. Marilyn, put that on over your shoulder so everybody can see what it looks like. Isn't that nice? It's just a nice size. I'm cutting off Marilyn's head. <laughs> She's smiling away, and I'm cutting off her head. Um, but that's a great size. You could put something underneath it, you know, something in the bottom, and then have your knitting on top. You could take it to, with you. Perfect solution for you know, waiting at a doctor's office or any of that. This one is the Big Sur fabric, and I think it's really cute. The Big Sur did have three different pieces officially for that fabric. It had the everyday tote, it had the market tote, and it had, we don't have to open that one again. No, I didn't notice it. Oh, it has a it snap has a for the everyday tote, and it has the mini pouch, and the mini pouches are 14. Um, which are perfect for notions or something like that. Now the market tote in the stripes and the charcoal, there is not a lunch tote in the tansy right now. I know I did check before we went live tonight and there isn't. I thought maybe it was just me. Um, the market tote in the stripes charcoal does kind of go with the big sur print. So um, I wouldn't think it would be too much of a stretch. Hi, Chris. I also have the mini pouch in Hannah, which is the blue and yellow 
it's kind of a blue and chartreuse um, floral. That is the only thing it comes in, is the mini pouch. So I don't know if maybe that was a last fall color or something like that, and that's all they have left. The tansy does come in the market tote, and it is a really pretty, it's kind of like a tealy green color, and um, it's real pretty, and I really like these. We just found these, and I think they're perfect mark, uh, knitting bags. I know I personally don't need to necessarily scream. I'm a knitter all the time. I know I own a yarn shop, but I don't need to scream. I own a yarn shop all the time. Um, and the market totes are 39 and I thought that was a good price. Um, they do have leather handles, which are very nice. These are spot cleanable. Um, I wouldn't put them in the um, washer. I think they might fade a little bit. So, um, But that is our scoop there. All right. So while you guys are thinking about that, I know that Echo um, Charcoal has been the most popular. I personally like the Echo Tangerine, too, and I'm not even an orange person, and I like that one. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. All right. We are going to go back to the beginning and make sure people didn't miss out on anything. You caught up tech support? Tech support is good. All right. So just holler if I don't have what I'm saying. I think I have three of the knitted wit monthly sock. This one is Blue Orchard B, and these are 33. And get my cheat sheet back out again. Um, these are really nice. They are going to be variegated. Okay, so they might kind of look stripey, but they're variegated. Very pretty. We have the Lang Jowl Twin, and these are tote tansy. You're making Marilyn run, Linda. Go for it. Um, I have a the Lang Jawel Twin. Are um, you're going to get two skeins for nineteen dollars? Each one makes a sock. Okay, and if you go from the outside of both of them, they will match. If you go from the inside of both of them, they will match. Another knitted wit for Leslie. Perfect. Um, so we're going to be continuing with our monthly color of the month for knitted wit. So, but we do have the Lang Jowl twin. I think these are really fun. Uh, five fifteen. The pink is going. Everybody likes the pink one. Hi, Debbie. Good to see you. These are fun. And I did post, I think on Facebook yesterday or today, a cute little dainty summer sock, which I think would be cute for this yarn. Um, and if you wanted something to do that way, we also have the double point needle watches and these are made in Bay city and they are $12 a piece. And, um, this is a collaboration of tech support and, um, a piece of you. Hi, Dora. Good to see you. $12 and they work on your needles just like this. So they're going to hold your stitches together and um so that you can throw them in your bag and go for it and i think you're gonna want those they're gonna make great christmas presents too or you know sweetest day gifts or it just happens to be memorial day gift to yourself you know that kind of thing twelve dollars you can only get those at a piece of you okay they are not on our website just yet, but you can always call the store. All right, we do have some blanket kits available, and I actually do have some sample color blanket kits available. This one is made out of Ella Ray Superwash, um, cozy soft, and it is, uh, I'm going to grab one down here because it's easier to grab. Yes, I do. She needs two of the watches. Uh, this is machine washable wool blend. It's 75% acrylic, 25% wool. Did Betty get a number one? Yes, yes you did, Betty. Which color is that one? Uh, Diane, I don't know what baby blanket color A is. Is that the sample? 
because these have numbers. So this one I'm looking at here is one. I'm assuming that's what you're looking for, but if you can just let us know, that would be great. We have one left. Yep, color one. We just have one left? Yep, okay. Oh, now we have one left. Yeah, one on the table. Um, I have color two. I have color three, four, five, six is gone, seven, and that is gray. I have nine. I have ten. I have eleven. I have twelve. If you like purple, twelve is good for you. I have 13, which is mostly white. The color on the far side is the main color, so it was navy in our sample. 14, kind of looks like a little bumblebee. 15, kind of looks like a ladybug. Or Marilyn's whispering to me, or it could be for the Red Wings. This one could be for the Detroit Lions. I need a 12. Um, 16. And 18 is for the Pistons. Or if you're very patriotic, you could have it done by 4th of July. Um, 19 is a nice conglomeration of pastels. A party of 5C, the pinks. 20 is gray and white and yellow. And 21 is a riot of pink and white. Those are $39. And you're going to use a US 7. It will include the hat pattern and the blanket pattern. We had plenty to make a hat with what was left. Okay. Across the waters... We, these kits are $38. It's a cute little cowl, perfect to wear from now until fall. Um, I have, it uses a DK weight, LRA denim DK, with a fingering weight. And um, so the solid color would be the accent color on here. You can leave it. And then the um, denim DK would be the, um, kind of the bump. And so A, I have one A left. C, I think that one's really pretty. D, if you like grays, this one's really pretty. And then I have E, I have one E left. And I think that one's really fun. Looks very summery. Those are $38. I have one lonely little blossom left. One lonely little blossom. Um, he is $44. A blanket, 21, please. D. And a D. Cheryl just remind us that we you need needles. Uh, we have Dreams and we have Hayas, so just let us know which one you'd like. Um, we have the Explore the Rainbows, and I think these are really, really pretty. I think, you know, I think I, these are going to be really fun to knit up. E. Joanne, you got our last E. Explore the Rainbow is $68. It's two full skeins of sock yarn. It's very, very pretty. And I think that it comes with the Dream Boat Socks pattern, which is a top-down, cuff-down sock pattern, just so you know. I believe. I'm almost positive because I was going to make the, that sock. So I'm thinking it is. All right. We have three of the sweaters left. 
We have 204, which is the yellow. We have 205, which is kind of a tomato red. And we have 206, which is the red, the pink, and the khaki. These are the colors that are in each one. 204, it's a really pretty pale yellow. 205 is this nice tomato red. And then 206 is this color, and it's the minimalistic tee. You have plenty of yarn to make this. You can make it longer, you can make the sleeves longer. And it is a pay for pattern on Ravelry. You guys have been seeing this pattern on our page for a couple weeks now since I've been working on it. So, um, but this one's really, really fun. Um, if you're interested and you're a crocheter, we do have a pattern for a um, uh, crocheted one skein shawl. Pink for the sweater. Would you like that, Pat? That would be 206. Would you like that? I would probably have you just get an extra skein, which I do have. So um, I think it'd be cute. It's a super easy pattern. Just let me know and we'll pull it off for you. 206 for Mary Hill. I think it's just a fresh look. Um, it's kind of fun. And um, it, it was super easy. And what I liked about knitting on it is you never knew what color was coming next. Because I went from the inside of the ball. And then it's a surprise all the time. So, all right. We do have some of the party of fives left. 205 for Joanne. Perfect. I think you'll like that one. Party of five, I have A, I have B. These are 44. The sweaters were 80. Um, it's about $20 off on the sweater. Um, the We're showing the Knitting for the Wind cowl, um, which is kind of cute. K. Thank you, Cheryl. Kay was feeling left out all by himself over there at the end of the row. So I have A, I have B, I have D and E, G, H, and I. And of course, if you need a piece of you can cozy, because now someday it will get warm and our, our cans will get sweaty, those are available also. So, and then we do have some of the bags left. Um, the lunch tote in Echo Charcoal and in Echo Tangerine, the large pouch in Echo Charcoal, party of five I. I have the everyday tote in Echo Charcoal, I have it in Echo Tangerine, and I have it in Big Sur. That one actually could be a travel bag. It is really cool. You could take it to the beach you could take it on an overnight and have plenty of room for your jammies and your knitting um i have the market tote in big sur i have it in um stripes and i also have it in tansy and then i have the mini pouches in big sur and in hannah and those are more Notion pouches. I actually carry my sock um, projects in the large pouch. And that works out really well too. All right. So that is our scoop for tonight. As always, if you're watching the replay, please put replay in your comment. And I will take a list home. And um, if I catch your comment tonight... Great. If I don't, I will pull it in the morning and um, we'll go from there. When we call you tomorrow, please have your credit card ready. Answer the phone from a 989 number. It means it's us. And um, feel free to ask us if we have any of the items left. Um, oftentimes we do. Sometimes they're all gone. So... Thanks, Laura. Have a great night, guys. We will see you again. I believe it's June 5th. Um, 
if we don't talk to you tomorrow um, or Tuesday, have a wonderful Memorial Day. We will be closed on Monday for the holiday. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.